alcohol consumption as risk factor for adverse brain outcomes and cognitive decline. Longitudinal cohort <coughs> study. So this study took 550 men and women, followed them for 33 zero years to assess what alcohol consumption did to their cognitive performance. And um, I forgot which country they were in, but it, I don't think it was the US. Um, and they also did an MRI of the brain. So remember we looked at that cross section, the cut through the salami image, that was an MRI. And they were specifically looking at the hippocampus, okay, because they wanted to see um, you know, cognitive performance, it's important to take a look at the hippocampus. All right. So what they found uh, was that even um, moderate use of alcohol was associated with decreased volume of the hippocampi bilaterally, okay, on both sides. So this blue line are those individuals that didn't drink alcohol at all, and then they used something called alcohol consumption units, and just so that you kind of know what I'm talking about with alcohol consumption units. Um, 2.4 is a glass of wine, 3 is a, I think that's a beer, okay? Um, so for those with 1 to 7 units per week, there was a little bit steeper decline in the curve. You see the red dot line? But if you go all the way out to those people that had 21 or more alcohol units per week, that curve's pretty steep. The endpoint's about the same as those that had just a few units, but it's certainly lower than, than the abstinence line. And, you know, there are different theories as to why kind of this middle range appears to be lower. Um, and the, the study wasn't really powered to, to answer that question. But I think what we can take from this is that even moderate use of alcohol um, is associated with a steeper rate of cognitive decline.